because of the history of independence, it definitely lends itself to um, uh, opportunities for the paranormal. I wish people knew more, not just what makes the mansion haunted, but what draws in the paranormal. Independence is so full of history that it's just, it, for the paranormal investigation, there's lots of opportunities. The 1859 jail, Marshall's Home and Museum, off uh, Main Street in the, on the square. I've definitely had some weird things happen to me over the years here. Independence is full of history. Like, this was the starting point of the West, so there was a lot of energy and excitement in those days. You can't walk anywhere in this town and not have, be touched by some sort of significant history. Uh, Jim Knowles, who was a city marshal, was actually imprisoned in this jail during the Civil War. We know that Jim Knowles was in this cell right here and they brought him out and, and killed him. And just like with any other haunted location in Independence, a lot of it has to do with just the history. The mansion draws in Harvey and Sophia Vale because this was their home and it was their home for a very short period. So they moved in in 1881. But by 1883, Sophia had passed away. It was believed that she had overdosed on morphine. Harvey Vale had passed away. He had suffered from a severe stroke. But many people who live in the area, especially in, around the mansion, have seen lights turning on and off. They have seen people pass by windows. I've definitely had some weird things happen to me over the years here. One time we were all here setting up for ghost tours and a clock that we have in the marshal's office started ringing and it started going off and we all jumped about two feet because we'd never heard that clock make any noise before. So at that moment your adrenaline's like ignited because you're just like, you have no idea how to explain what just happened. So if you're investigating any type of historical or paranormal type of thing, I mean, Independence is your go-to place. It's got everything. And tours start at 7, 8, and 9 p.m. They're about an hour and a half, two hours. You get to tour the jail first, and you learn about the history, as well as some of the paranormal events that have happened here. It's Friday and Saturday every October. Visit Vail Mansion website, and through there, you can get in contact with someone to book an overnight investigation. You can even come here during the day just for a tour, and you may even experience stuff just during a daytime tour. It's like Independence is so full of that stuff. Um, there's so many historical sites that you could check out.